Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have managed to repair a cooling system that shut down. It's needed to cool hundreds of spent fuel rods. Spokespersons for Tokyo Electric Park Company say workers heard alarms earlier in the day, alerting them to the trouble. They say crews were installing a metal net around an electrical switchboard. The net may have hit the board and caused it to stop working. A spokesperson say more than 500 units of spent fuel rods are stored in the pool for reactor number three. They say workers managed to repair the system after about three hours. They say conditions remain safe throughout. The temperature in the pool stayed at about 15 degrees Celsius. And they say the level of radiation around the plant did not change. A blackout at the plant last month stopped some of the cooling systems for more than a day. TEPCO officials said a rat caused a short circuit. So they instructed workers to put nets around switchboards. Tokyo Electric Power Company has begun transferring radioactive water from a leaking storage tank at its Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. TEPCO says radioactive strontium and other substances were detected on the ground around the storage tank on from Wednesday to Friday. The company estimates that 120 tons leaked so far based on the change in the level of water in the tank. The work began on Saturday morning. Workers are using four pumps to transfer radioactive water in the tank to an adjacent tank. The utility says the leaked water has not flowed into the ocean because there's no ditch around the tank and the sea is some 800 meters away. TEPCO says it will take at least five days to finish the transfer of water. The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is being forced to review the way it manages contaminated water. This follows the discovery of a second leak in its water storage system. Tokyo Electric Power Company said on Sunday that it has found a small leakage, up to three liters, from an underground storage facility. The tank currently contains about 10,000 tons of radioactive water. The firm now plans to transfer about 2,000 tons of radioactive water from the tank. It says the leakage may be coming from upper part of the tank. This follows an earlier massive leak of about 120 tons of radioactive water from another underground tank. The power company is in the process of transferring 13,000 tons of radioactive water to two different tanks. TEPCO also says it will closely monitor the situation by taking water samples twice a day from 24 locations. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it has found no major changes in nearby radiation levels around tanks at the facility and no new leakage. The announcement follows leaks last week. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, on Sunday began checking density levels of water near the plant's storage tanks. One of them leaked more than 120 tons of contaminated water between last Wednesday and Friday. The firm found a minor leak in another tank on Sunday. TEPCO President Naomi Hiro said, met Trade and Industry Minister Toshimitsu Motegi to explain recent accidents at the plant. Make sure no contaminated water enters the Pacific. Don't let it go any farther. Hirose told Motegi that the utility will finish transferring the remaining contaminated water to other tanks in three days. TEPCO says it set up an emergency task force led by its president to deal with a spate of accidents at the plant.